Well, teacher, this bill is targeted for summer learning and tutoring for students. And we spoke with experts who say those are the best options to recover lost learning. And those experts also told us, I mean, these are pivotal programs for Oregon students who are trying to recover from big decreases, big drops in math and reading. It's crucial. For decades, Self Enhancement Inc. in Portland's Albina neighborhood has provided summer learning for hundreds of kids. When school is out, summer slide happens and there's so much more free time. Free time, kids spend here place. learning graphic design and the usuals, math and reading. We need summer learning, we need after school learning, and it does need to be academics and reading. Programs made possible in part through government funding though sometimes that help doesn't come. We definitely felt the impacts of not receiving summer funding for the whole state last year. Though if the Oregon legislature passes House Bill 4082 this session, Hicks says those problems could be avoided this summer. The bill would provide 50 million in grants statewide for summer learning programs. Without this bill, we wouldn't be able to have the enhanced programming. Steve Padilla, director of communications in the Reynolds School District, says more than a thousand kids district wide enroll in summer programs. And we hope that uh, those in power see uh, the impact that this will have. Though there's worry. Legislators may not pass the bill with less than two weeks left in the session. In a statement, House Speaker Dan Rayfield says the legislature needs to make sure kids have the resources they need and they'll have conversations about summer learning, though this session, housing and homelessness are the top priorities. Still, chief sponsor of the bill, Representative Susan McLean, says the bill is on track. We are at the right place at the right time in the session. Though if it doesn't pass, experts say Oregon students could continue to fall further behind. We need this bill to pass. Now, Representative Susan McLean says the next step for this bill is for it to go to a budget committee and there there will be discussion and a work session as well in hopes of advancing this bill to eventually get that funding out to summer programs and schools. Guys. All right. We'll keep an eye on that one. Thanks, Thomas.